Hi, this is Bonnie with TLC Inspirations, and today we're going to have a little fun with applique. I know most people are a little afraid of it and intimidated by doing an applique, but really it's so simple and very easy to do, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, it can be very creative. Um, we're just going to do a simple little applique that I cut out from uh, a couple of quilt templates. You can use whatever you prefer for templates or designs or pre-made ones. Uh, it doesn't really matter. They're all pretty much applied the same way. You can either use a temporary spray-on adhesive on the back side to adhere your uh, applique to your project. Or um, another option would be a uh, fusible webbing. This is a double side uh, fusible web and we're going to cut it out the same time as we cut out our design which is what I've done today so you can see and fusible webbing is a webbing that is uh, in between two pieces of paper you can see the webbing in between there you want to leave that intact and cut out your design and then you'll want to peel one side of the, the paper off, leaving uh, paper on one side and the webbing on the other. And we're going to in adhere our design to the sticky side of the webbing. So sticky side of the webbing to the wrong side of our design. And then we're going to pull off the other piece of paper and that'll leave just the webbing on the fabric our little fabric flower. And we're going to turn that over and place it on our quilt square. Or your t-shirt or your tote or whatever you're making. And we're going to get it placed so it's secure and won't slip around when we begin to sew it. Now I like to take a piece of tearaway stabilizer and place it over my machine uh, underneath my project to give it a little more stabilization. Um, the needle guides through everything easier and smoother. So that's a personal preference of mine. Now we're ready to start stitching. So you'll want to line up your um, foot with your little center gauge that's on your uh, presser foot there you want to line up that little uh, guide with the edge of your applique. Now we're going to start on the outside kind of coming up from a valley and go around uh, our first outside curve. So we're going to start sewing and uh, as we come to the top of the curve we're going to put our needle down and pivot around. Now when you're pivoting around the, um, an outside curve, you want your needle down to be on the outside edge of the curve. And then you sew a couple more stitches and pivot a little bit more. Now you can see a little closer. I'm going to sew a couple stitches needle down on the outside of the curve and pivot around a little bit more, a couple more stitches, making it all the way around the curve, the outer curve. Now we're going to be coming into the valley of the flower and when you get to the valley um, you do it a little bit differently. You have needle down on the inside of the curve and you start pivoting the other way. Just following your guide needle down, pivot, coming up out of the valley of the curve, and continue sewing around your uh, design in that manner. Wherever you have a, a valley, you put your needle down and pivot, and wherever you have a curve, you put your needle down on the outside edge of the curve and pivot around the curve. And you just keep going in this manner until you've gotten around your your design and it's all stitched in place. 
Um, we have a nice little zigzag going. Um, many types of uh, stitches are used. Um, some people use a blanket stitch. Some people use a straight stitch, which will leave a frayed edge, which gives a different effect. But you can see how our stitching has followed the curves of the design. Quite simple. And there's our first little flower design cut from our first template. And then you pull off your tearaway stabilizer on the back side. Comes off very easily if you've ever worked with a tearaway stabilizer. Just going to peel it away. And again, this is just a personal preference. It's not necessary for doing an applique. I just prefer to, to do it this way. comes off very easily. And there's our first little part of our flower and you can add a second one in the middle or um, even a circle in, the, in there if you rather or leave it without the middle flower. If, if we're going to put the middle one in we just uh, sew around it the same way as we did on the outer one. And there you have it. You can Put a button in the middle or you can sew a contrasting fabric like in a circle for the center of your flower and then stitch around it with your applique stitch. Um, anyway, have fun with it, be creative, and thanks for watching our video on TLC Inspirations channel.